All right, folks. Hopefully, uh, anybody who's watching my progress on the uh, Acura CL Champ Car caught the uh, video I put up. Finally, I got some on-track footage. Um, it was in the morning. It was 25 degrees. The track was cold. Tires were cold, so I had to take it easy. I've yet to understand how to edit on the computer. Still learning, but I can do it on my phone, so that's kind of what I am. I'm more of a technical hands-on person. I'm not computer savvy, editing savvy, all that stuff. So bear with me. I'm slowly learning, but um, today what we're going to work on, figured share the progress with y'all. I've got the passenger door off. If you come over here and look, passenger door is off. I'm going to go cut the lights on. All right. So we've got the door taken off. What I've got to do, got my hinges here. I've got to come into this fender and we're missing the mountain bolt here. So I'm gonna have to get that mounted somehow. But I have to come in here and you see this lip? I had beat that lip in and folded it in to allow the air to come out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pry this lip back out. I'm gonna grind all this metal off here and then we'll get a cut here, a cut here, and a cut here. Come out to about an inch and a half to two inches and then we'll flare it out to where we can match, to where we can match the other side. Come over here to the driver's side and this is basically what we're going to do. So the idea here is all of the air that is coming through that port right there is coming through the wheel well to try to cool the brakes. Well, all that air gets trapped inside the fender and it'll slow you down. So the idea here is to allow that air to escape. Now I've seen another car where he actually took the door and notched the door and then folded the door inward. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. I'm think I'm going to let this ride and uh, <clears throat> go ahead and see how that performs see if it gives me any turbulence in the car i do know i'm going to have to plug this hole there's a gigantic hole right there where the wires used to come through and when you close the door you're looking directly at the tire so i know i'm gonna get dust and all sorts of stuff see that's the door the door is closed and you can see, you can see that tire and all that stuff so i'm gonna have to close that up just a tidbit to where i don't get any of that in the car I wanted to show you all this before I went ahead and started so <clears throat> when I had the door on the car I took a can of black spray paint inside the fender well and I sprayed through the, the door area and you can see this is the open area or, or this is the area where the black spray paint is. So this is the area that is uh, more or less blocking the entrance to where this port here, where I showed you earlier, that's where um, the dirt can come through. So I cannot cut any of this black stuff out. So I'm going to cut right across this top line here and follow it all the way up. Pop the breaker. Can't have the cutting torch and the air compressor running at the same time. All right, I'm gonna finish a lot of this with the die grinder, and there's a whole lot to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
say if you ever want to build a race car, the only thing you need is a four inch cutoff wheel. And you can go to town. Power to weight ratio is all it is. And the idea is to cut as much weight out of it as you can. So that's what we're going to try to do. This was my mirror bracket, and uh, I think I'm just going to take all the mirrors off the car. I've got an inner mirror that's on the driver's side, that's probably all I need. Easy enough. Alright, so we come over here and we this is the door we've been working on and then this is the driver door. So on the driver door we have this cut out, just like we have that cut out. Now down here we've got this cut down, we still have this in the bar, and then we have the bump stop here. So I kept the bump stop so the door closes normally, but I've got all this taken out. So I only have a triangular piece down here at the bottom which will be that triangular piece there. So all of this has got to go. So that's the next step. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a judgment call here to not remove one of the bars. And the reason why is, I'll, and I'll show you, this door takes a beating, as you can tell. See all the marks? You got there, you get the big giant yellow mark. You had one down here at the corner, and then there. So the passenger side of the car takes a beating. So the bottom bar, I'm gonna leave because it's hooked to a hinge point here. We can still take this bar out and take it out up here, and we'll leave that metal there. That way this door will be rigid and stronger for impact resistance, and that bar will still be there. Now these bars, I weighed them. This bar here weighs four pounds. This weighs 4.6 pounds. So we're gonna leave a little bit in there, but that's not bad as far as how much weight we've already taken off. 
as you can tell this box here is starting to get full especially when you add that to it Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to weigh the door, I'm going to show you what it weighs. So starting yesterday, this door was 44 pounds, Let's see what it goes to now, 25.4. The other door was 18.5. So basically, by leaving this bar in, and this mount, and this little track of metal here, that ends up giving us, you know, an extra six pounds of metal in there somewhere. But that's not bad. Still got that little piece of rubber to take out. But. That's about it for the door removal. As far as all the metal we can get off of it, we've got a big old box of trash right here. And um, tomorrow, I'll come back in here. I'll start working on the fender. And if I get time, it's almost Christmas, so we'll work on the fender, we'll get it all mounted, and uh, we'll see how it looks. And then hopefully in a, a week or so, I'll put some new tires on the front, take it to the dyno, we'll see what it makes. And I uh, got some things planned for that. So thank y'all for watching. Give me a like if you like the video. Subscribe, comment, and uh, see y'all next time.